there is a problem in this grinder. Uh, we have this Flips grinder which is quite old, but uh, uh, this pulley got jammed. So now we need to see that why this pulley got jammed and we will let you know. So first what we will do, we will open it from the back side and we will take it out. Take all these screws out. Four screws are out and now we will take this. Okay. All right, so three more screws. One is here, one is here, and the other one is here. We will remove them and take out the whole thing. We are not able to take this out because here you can see this one. Uh, there is one more uh, panel is connected, so we will take this out as well. So now this is disconnected. And we can take this out. All of it is requiring cleaning as well. So we will let you know how to clean this. We have removed the cap and we realize that there is a screw from the back side which we have to remove. So if you look at this side, this is the one. We have to remove, we have to open this one and then this will be disconnected. This is already jammed. We are trying to open it. So we will put some WD-40 here. And maybe after 10-15 minutes, we will again try. So uh, with this help of a screwdriver, we are not able to open this. Now what we, we can do, we can hold this hole hard and then with the help of this glass, we can fix the glass here and we can push it hard. Now this is done, on clockwise basis you will move it and this will come out. Now once this is out, on the other side you can remove this one and now whatever cleaning is required you can do the cleaning because I believe that the cleaning is the biggest issue. Alright, so we will clean it with the help of WD-40. You can see there is a lot of rust in there. And maybe this rust is creating problem of movement. Clean it properly and then wipe it out with a clean cloth. Now this fan is also very dirty so I would like to remove this fan and I can move it out a little bit like this and hopefully it will come out. Yes. So now I can wash it out and I can wash it out this one separately and wherever I can clean it with the WD-40 I will clean it with the WD-40. So we have to clean it properly, every part of it, so it doesn't get stuck again in the near future. So make sure that you clean properly. Most of the time, the simple problem can create a big hassle for you. We are almost there, everything is cleaned. Whatever we can wash, we have washed. Whatever we could have cleaned, we have cleaned. So now we are about to do the refixing. There is a push button as well, this one. Uh, so we want to clean this one as well. So we can open this screw. And once we open this screw, the whole thing will come out and we can clean it properly. So we have taken it out and you can see there is a spring 
and inside it is quite dirty. I think this is definitely requiring some cleaning. All right, guys, uh, now everything is clean, outer part, inner part is clean, plus all the parts, they are all washed out carefully. And everything is clean now and wherever we need to apply WD-40, we have applied WD-40 and we have cleaned these parts. And now we can see that it is moving properly. Previously this was jammed and that was the basic issue that it was not moving properly. Now because of WD-40 and cleaning, this is properly moving. And once we will refix it, we will show it to you. The only thing which I would like to add is that after washing all these parts, um, I have cleaned them properly with the cloth and with the dryer so there is no water inside and I have not used any water uh, on this component because this is electrical so there is no water should be used uh, so this side I have cleaned with WD-40 and I poured a little bit of WD-40 uh, at this joint because that was the place where it was getting stuck and I have put a little bit of WD-40 on this side as well just to make sure that it is clean and is moving properly it is moving now but rest of the components, I have cleaned them properly. I dried them. Uh, some of them I washed and some of them uh, I used with the dried cloth. And uh, now it seems all good to go. All right, so let me put these back. This will go here then this spring will go here and on top of it there is a screw you will fix it here this will come here this will come here and now we will fix this now this is fixed and now we will fix the top from this side here we have to put the coupling Alright, so this screw we will fix. It is fixed. Now if you want to tighten it further, you can use the help of this glass. A little bit, not more. Done. Let's put this one on top of it. It will come like this. Let's fix this inside. And this wire like this. That's it. Now we will be fixing these three screws. All right, so this is all fixed and uh, now we are going to fix the top. It will come like this and it will be fixed with these three screws. One, two and three and we will let you know what happens after. Right, so this is ready. Uh, you can see uh, this is free now and now we will do the first trial. Now let's check now and this is working perfectly now. So this is done. You can do it at home but uh, I'm not uh, basically technically competent on this. So whenever you want to do any such thing, if you want to open any electrical appliances, please consult any technical expert 
who can guide you better in this regard. Thank you.